Hi, this is Donald with Birding for Beginners. This is really for those who want to try out birding or have a great fascination for birds. What attracts one to birding? Is it the color? Is it the variety, the habitat, the sheer numbers, the behavior? You can watch from inside your house or in anywhere you like or on holiday. Many people go on trips just to watch birds. Thing, You could photograph them. There are many di different species you can identify. Some people go after numbers and see how many they can identify. I have a friend who's identified most of the 900 or all of the 900 species found in Southern Africa. It's fun. It's beautiful. It's actually a great way of getting outside. We are based in South Africa. But the principles and tricks and things that I'm going to get into with birding for beginners is applicable anywhere in the world. We're going to start with a bird every fortnight. So every fortnight I want to post a bird, a different bird. We will start with the sparrow. In South Africa it's a Cape Sparrow. Then we'll do the common pigeon. Those are found internationally followed by our local guinea fowl. On alternate weeks, I will endeavor to give some insight on how to identify birds better. So this video is actually one of the, those alternatives trying to explain what is going on. As I mentioned, 900 birds is quite a daunting task. To try and identify all of them, well, some people can do it, but I'm going to start it simply. I'll break it down into bite-sized chunks. Chunks that you can see and remember. There are different ways of, of learning about how to identify birds. There are two common ways in South Africa that it's done. The one is following Mr. Newman in his Newman Guide of to birds in Southern Africa, and the other one is the Roberts Guide. The Roberts has been around from a long time, and that's the one I was brought up with, sort of the de facto standards on which to identify birds. And today it's still like that, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's easy to follow. Most people start identifying birds by color. A very good reason for that is they're pretty. But more than that, we as humans are accustomed to seeing things visually. I fell into this trap. I battled. This is because we are, that's just how we are. This has some problems, like the feathers get old and differ between an after melt. There's more on this, which I'll come to later. Newman, in his book, Newman's Birds of South Africa bites the, breaks it down into size, bill, legs, plumage, habitat, and habits. Robert's Birds Guides use distribution, habitat, shape, and plumage. Robert's further breaks down shape into seven further categories, namely seabirds, raptures, raptors, water birds, typical birds, shore birds, and ground birds, and night birds. Further, they include eyes, bill, leg, and a plumage. As you can see, Newman's and Robert's are very similar. I'll be using the, knob, the Newman's way of breaking down bird identification. Here's a simple way of remembering it. Size, bill, legs, plumage, habit, habitat, or S-I-B-L-P-H-H. -H. And just for fun, we put a little poem to it. Silly, Billy, likes, pulling, Helen's, hair. I hope you can remember that. Fortnightly, we will be looking at many of these aspects. We'll take them one at a time and see how we go. Looking forward to meeting with you um, on YouTube in future or Instagram, Facebook or however we go.
Bye.